Today, we're heading down to OU Oya, oh yeah, Athens, Ohio to try four different campus restaurants. For the first one that we'll hit up is Fried, a restaurant that specifically only serves fries that has a stoner theme and had Afro Man at its opening ceremony. After that, we're going to Grub and Go, formerly Uptown Grill, where they're most famous for their chicken and waffle sandwich. The last dinner item that we have on the docket is we're having pizza from Goodfellas, a true Athens staple mart. Serving deep dish pizza at three bucks a slice, it makes a fan of all OU students. Finally, for dessert, we're gonna have some insomnia cookies. As it says in its name, it's open late and ready for all late night studiers. All right, guys. <laughs> guys, this is Brezina. This is Kylie. Hello. <laughs> XOU student, OU student. Where are we headed today? To get fries as an appetizer. Fries as an appetizer. We're on our Athens food review tour, have so. Have you ever been here, Kylie? No, I haven't. I've never been here, but I have been to meet Afro Man that was up here. Afro Man actually created oh, this, this place. Is the Afro Man place? Yeah. This is the Afro oh Man my place. Gosh. So we're gonna hit it up and let's see how it is. This oh, is the first like stop on our Athens food place. review. Let's do it. <laughs> Brazina, Kylie, oh. I love the vibe in here. The vibe it's is awesome. Like disco. disco. The everything. outside part is so big though. Mm -hmm. It's got like a bunch Friday. of like, banks Fuck. and stuff. <laughs> Guys, uh, this terrible. table is awesome. Oh my gosh, oh, look at this. That's actually so, so. sad. Basically, <gasps> this is the power of the oh, Give us a first bite. Mm -hmm. mm, that's so good. Oh my gosh. You want to take a little bite? I should have got something more interesting. But it still tastes good, right? Ooh. It's very good, yeah. Look at that queso. Mm -hmm. Just... So here's what we got over here. Parmesan garlic truffle fries. What do you have over here, Brazina? Um, I know they're garlic parmesan, but I got queso on them and cilantro. Perfect idea. And what do you have over here, Kylie? Mango habanero. Those look <laughs> delicious. I need to grab a fork. All right, a little small baby fry over here. The honey mustard sauce? Honey mustard sauce. She described it as a Chick-fil-A sauce. Mm. Does it live up to a threat? It's definitely not a Chick-fil-A sauce, but it tastes delicious. Mm. All right, we just figured out Afro Man does Afro not- Man hosted the grand opening when I was there. That's why I thought- Oh. <laughs> so Afro Man does not own it, no. but he did host he the did grand opening. Okay. He, and dance with that. <laughs> yeah. All right, we just finished up here at Fried. Um, it was first stop on our Athens food review, food tour and review. We're almost full. Right? <laughs> We're almost full. It's <sighs> it's gonna be a long night. <laughs> For sure. All right, it's so really good, uh, you're guys' first time on here, so who wants to give the first review? I want to say like a seven point one because like I'm well, they were really good. The queso was really good, but low key. I mean, the portions are really good. <sighs> Just 7.1 because, you know, there's just things that are a lot better. Okay. It reminded me pretty much exactly of fair fries, like that you would get at the fair. So I would say, too, just literally, like, 7.5. They were good, but not the best thing ever. So. All right. All right, for me, it's going to be, I love Parmesan. I love garlic. And I love honey mustard. And I love fries. I love potatoes a lot. So, <laughs> you said 7.1 and Kylie said 7.5. I'm going 8.2. Mm. They were delicious. They were like perfectly salty. It was awesome. The sauce was great. I'm, I'm actually changing that. 8.1. 8.1 out of 10. Highly recommend this place. All right, on to our next stop. Oh, my we have a new reviewer. Yes. Just popped up in the middle of the video. <laughs> All right, Bridget, where are we headed now? We're at Grub and Go, but it used to be called Uptown Grill. And people really knew it as chicken and waffle. Yes. But they got rid of the chicken and waffle, and after an outrage. Outrage, madness. They brought it back. All right, let's head it up. Kylie went with the chicken. I forgot that we Philly? were. Philly? I forgot we were supposed to get something that was a waffle. <laughs> <laughs> we got. 
took the first bite, Joel. Sorry. Oh no! <laughs> How was it? I didn't get that too much of the chicken, but it's, it's messy. Good. It's very messy. <laughs> that As looks it delicious. Be. All right, let's dig in. <laughs> Bridget, can you give us a first bite? Oh my god, you're gonna film me eating? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Give me one second. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, let's dig <laughs> in. Oh okay, we uh, we just finished up here at uh, Chicken and Waffle, or what was it, Grub and Go? Grub and Go. Grub and Go. Grill. Yeah. Mm. Past Uptown Grill. All right, so who wants to go first in giving their review? All right. I'd give mine like a six out of ten because I mean it was it was really messy, which I like, but the chicken wasn't that good. Massey, but chicken wasn't good. Okay. But everything else is really good. <laughs> Syrup and all that. Um, I'll give it a 8.1 because it was really good, but it could have been better. There could have been more seasoning. But other than that, it was really good. All right, Bridget. I'm going to give it a 7.8 out of 10, and that's just because I've had it when I'm drunk. And when I've had it when I've been drunk, it is a, like, 9.7 out of 10. <laughs> For me, I'm going to... I enjoyed it. I thought it was delicious. Um, the sauce wasn't the best, I'm going to be honest. But it's still... Uh, the <laughs> uh, Their special sauce. I'm just not a big buffalo sauce fan, and it had buffalo spices in there. So I'm going to give it a 7.4 out of 10. Still pretty good, but could have been better. Yeah. Still delicious. All right, guys. Up to on to the next place. <laughs> All right, Goodfellas Pizza. It's deep dish. Brazina, first bite. Why are we getting the first bite? Okay, I'm breaking it The most consecutive most bites we've had on this channel. Mm -hmm. All right, let me dig in. All right, guys, just finished up here at Goodfellas Pizza. How's everyone feeling? Stuffed. This is our last actual dinner food place. Yeah. Um, so, who wants to give the first review? I can. Perfect. I give it an 8.8. .8. 8.8, wow. It was good. I like deep dish, but I think it could have used a little bit more cheese with the bread. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to give it a freaking, probably a 6.1 this time because, I mean, it's good, but it's not the best pizza I've ever had. I got to give it a 9.3 because that was my go-to from, like, the library during finals and everything. Go-to when, you know, <laughs> a little wasted, but, um. Just all that. It's a go-to for any occasion. Uh, for me, I'm I'm going. It's it's good pizza. It's real good pizza. I'm going seven point seven on this one. It's really good. I'm I'm a fan. So I think it, the sauce was perfect. I think the cheese was good. I love deep dish. Seven point seven. All right. On to the next place. All right. We got ice cream cookies. Ice cream cookie, regular cookie. Oh, this is gonna be delicious. <laughs> I'm biased, but this is my favorite dessert of all time is buttercream in between two cookies. <laughs> nice crunch. I like more ice cream proportional to my cookie. This is amazing. <laughs> Happy? Mm -hmm. All right, guys. That was the last stop on our Athens food tour. Oh, I'm stuffed. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I You're stuffed, I and, know. and you didn't even hit up the first place with us. No, but I'm like half of everyone's size. <laughs> <laughs> A quarter of mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, Brazino, why don't you give us the, the cookie review? Ice cream cookie review. I got the M and M cookie and the chocolate chip cookie with. They didn't have cookies and cream today, which is the only ice cream I really like from theirs. But I got chocolate. It wasn't bad. Cookies weren't as hot as they usually are on a good night, but I'd still give it like in eight point three. 
Yeah. Going diagonal, Bridget. Oh, wow. Um, I, Joel bought mine. It was the peanut butter chunk one. And I give it a 7.8, a little few extra points because Joel bought it for me, so I tasted the love. But <laughs> they're good. They're good. I just sometimes I think they're a little overhyped. But they're, they're always good. So. Kylie? Um, 7.8. One because it's good, but it's not like the best, most tasty thing in the whole world. All right, <laughs> I had the big witch, I think it was called. Yes, yeah, and that's one of my favorite kind of desserts is it's cream filled with, with two cookies on the outside. So I'm giving it an 8.9, and I agree that there are some bias points in there. But 8.9 out of 10, easy. All right, that was it for the food review of Athens, the food tour of Athens, tour de Athens, I guess. Um, we will, well, I guess I will see you guys next week. Let us know if there's any places around Columbus or Athens that we should have went or we should go to. Uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. Later.